Let's talk about AMD yes. launching a competitive chip to NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. Will they be able to overtake NVIDIA this year or next? So obviously NVIDIA has led the race, yes. with, especially this year um, when it comes to chips. So AMD is, you know, probably their second number runner up yeah, in, number the, two. in the thing. So yeah, let's talk about the new product and will they be able to take the crown from NVIDIA? I don't know if they'll be able to take the crown per se, but it was necessary for them to have a competitive offering. We've seen this in with, uh, excuse me, with ChatGPT. Then Google Bard came out. Google Bard probably won't surpass ChatGPT, but you have to at least have an offering. Um, AMD chips are amazing, especially on the gaming side. I love NVIDIA. I've been using their chips for like maybe three or four years. Um, but I, their CEO I love, though. That's why I said like when she was like starting to sell off some of her shares, I wasn't concerned, but if she steps down, I'll get concerned then about AMD. But they had to put out a competitive product to at least <laughs> keep the valuation high enough and also for this hyper growth to happen mm -hmm. in the stock as well. So I think it was well time, well played. And they've been battling for a while, for a few years, like AMD was in the lead in terms of perception. And then NVIDIA just ramped everything up. So there's been a great jousting match between NVIDIA's CEO and AMD's. I think it was well played. They'll be the number two player. Um, in the space for a while, but it was definitely needed. So like an Intel or TSM didn't put out a product and right. it would be in a second place. So it was well played. Yeah, I think they're number two and that's okay. Yeah. It's okay to be number two, especially when we talk about being one or two in your in your in your sector and this is like a subsector. Yeah. When we talk about semiconductors. But like like you said, I the think the most important thing is that they didn't rush. Yep. So when we talk about timing, chat GBT becomes a real conversation February, March, we start to see NVIDIA start to pick up. Obviously, it's had a crazy year. Yeah. They didn't rush, right? This wasn't... They took their time. They took yeah. their time. It wasn't like what Microsoft says, hey, we're, we're invested in OpenAI, open and Google says, all right, well, here comes our version. Yeah. And it was rushed, and it was mistakes, and now you got to go back to the drawing board and see how we yeah. can correct Bart. It's okay to be number two. Uh, will they pass them this year? No. Uh, what it does do is now it's like, okay, if these are the clear cut favorites, who else can be a part of this conversation now? Yeah. And so you start looking at, and we talked about this AI as a company. If you even look at Oracle, Oracle's had a hell of a like, I was surprised at their <laughs> energy. They, if you, if you look at Oracle, this is like, and we talk about these, the stalwart companies that have been here for a while. Larry Ellison, one of the wealthiest people in the world. One of the best CEOs. One of the best CEOs. Yeah. It, the company just has quietly, when we're talking about software enterprise, mm -hmm. has quietly gone on a run, 50% up this year, and it's because they're figuring out how they incorporate AI inside of the, what they're doing already. Yeah. And so AMD, NVIDIA, clear-cut favorites, but especially for people who are listening and watching, look at the companies who have been around for a while. Not are, Intel. <laughs> who are trying to figure out yeah. <laughs> how we incorporate this because we already know they have the capital yeah. and they have the longevity. They have the infrastructure already. And the infrastructure is well. yeah. there. We talked about IBM. We were in Toronto. Like, yeah. be, be on the look. These companies are going to figure out a way because they have the enterprise from a, a software standpoint. The clientele is there. Yeah. Infrastructure is there. Infrastructure is there. Capital is there. So it fits cloud computing well. Exactly. It was well played. And I think we should hit like a little index of like companies that are quietly executing. Because mm -hmm. even AMD, AMD went from what, 60 to I think now it's at 120. Yeah, it, it got down. Yeah, it was at $67. 60, that's like, that was a steal at the time. Mm -hmm. Now it would be at 120, probably in the year around 135 or so. Um, but the companies that are being really quiet, those are the ones you need to keep your eyes on. Mm -hmm. The ones that are making announcements all the time or ended up in, like, the Reddit forums as the next hot thing, they usually don't make it. But Oracle surprised me. Like yeah. They are starting to compete with, with Microsoft on the Azure side a little bit more. Um, so that is a, a dark horse in that AS space, for sure. I mean, it's never okay to be number two. Talk that talk. Tell us why. No, no, no. For, the, for them. For them. Well, the, of course you want to be number one, but I'm talking about... Right, if we're talking about the top two companies in the world, and top we're talking two about and not two, and not two, is it yeah. okay that you're Microsoft and Apple's number one? No, it's not okay. Like I said, it's it's. Go are you are you gonna kill yourself? No. Are you gonna like you know dismantle your company? No. 
But don't think for a minute, like, business is more competitive than anything in the mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm. So don't think for a minute that any company is satisfied with being number two. And if they are, then their CEO is, should be fired. Um, Intel? Now, <laughs> there, has to be a num there has to be a number two, okay, right? Yeah. Um, it's just everybody can't be number one. But I just want the entrepreneurs that's listening to understand that there's that's, never, yeah. you, so, should never, yeah. you should never be okay with being number two. Now, you might be number two. Right. And you tried your hardest. And that's all you can be is number two. Um, but you shouldn't be satisfied with just being number two. That's correct. So, again, and just so we're clear, I'm not saying entrepreneurs. That's different, right? I'm talking about these mega cap enterprises. So when I'm looking at a Microsoft, and I'm talking, let's just talk about AMD and NVIDIA, right? Yeah. Here's what you risk, right? When you are the number two in the space, not saying that you should not strive to be number one, right? That should be the goal. But what you risk is making a cru crucial mistake that now takes you out of that position, right? And so you try to make something and you rush. That's why I said timing is so important because they took their time. It took three months. They might have been working on a product before they said, all right, here it is to the public. What could happen is that they put something out, they rush it, it goes bad. Now, forget number, you're not even in the top two in the sector. You might fall out of the top yeah. five in the sector, right? So when we're talking about number, if you're in the top two, that means that you could be number one. You're safety, yeah. You're, right, you're, you, you've, safety. you've elevated yourself from the rest of the pack. At yeah. the highest levels of the world, they're not happy with being number two. It doesn't yeah. matter if you're a local entrepreneur or China, who's number two, who who wants to be number you, one. You arguably. Jacket game. Or, 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 arguably. Or, or yeah. I, like I read Steve Jobs' book. I understand how he yeah. felt about Microsoft. He he, he was he very vocal it. about Microsoft. So yeah. don't ever think that some just because a company is a trillion dollar company yeah. or somebody's a billionaire, that they're comfortable like at the highest level they, they fighting harder it. than anybody yeah. to become number one. Yep. Everybody wants to be number one. And yeah. AMD was a dollar for such a long time. Uh, 2018, I think their stock was at 27 bucks. And they were the darling mm -hmm. tech stock to invest in and now NVIDIA passed them. They're going to jockey back. Come, same way with yeah, Kobe and LeBron. Right. And, they've been in the yeah. peak position before. Yeah. Right. And but, they want to get back there. Or they could be Intel. And AMD had never been. No, what I'm saying is, right, you make that mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Intel got so comfortable, and there's a whole bunch of those companies that have just historically gotten comfortable with their gains. Um, going back to the complacency thing, because like if you start to slide down that leaderboard, as right. people end up passing you up, and you can't always get that fire back from the retail side or the hedge fund side to want. And also, if the products aren't good, like have any of us in here used an Intel product the last five years? Silencio. These are my thoughts, my views. <laughs> so. so that's why EYL Market Mondays number one. Numero uno. And that's and that's difficult. If I've made to, you money, please put yes in chat. And that's difficult to handle. Yes. And um I'm sure a lot of people want this spot, but they their work, the their work is stepped on. But they've got to be okay with being number two. <laughs> they've got to be okay. Right? You know what I'm this is what I'm saying. You just made my point. <laughs> hey, Mike, what you think? And I'm not saying they shouldn't strive to be number one. But some shit is just, it is what it is. All information is not quick, fair, <laughs> equal. Listen, get rich off your own information first before everybody try and go teach. That's a fact. How about that? Yes. Let's try that one. Um... <laughs> You want to slide to to an argument of one and two? He just been sliding uh, for <laughs> twenty minutes. <laughs> sliding, man. <laughs> Von Bilal over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chi Chi slide. <laughs> my graduates from my school, being Forbes, bag drop, bag drop, <laughs> a mic drop, bag drop, bag drop. <laughs>